I left about $250,000 on the table the last several years by not offering landscaping to my clients. And hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, check it out. If you guys are new to the channel and you've never watched a video before, my channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn care and landscaping business. And specifically, we do that with how-tos, reviews, and daily vlogs. And you know what? One of you guys actually asked me a question and it was a really good comment. And I wanted to answer this one and maybe uh, give you my mindset a little bit about why I never started with landscaping back in the day. It said, Brian, if you had to do things all over again, would you consider adding landscaping to your business offerings from the beginning? It's a really good question. You see, when I got started cutting grass over 10 years ago, I didn't have the education to go into landscaping. Quite honestly, I barely had the education to go into cutting grass and doing lawn care. Now, back then, I thought it was a lot easier to just mow grass because when I got started, that's what I was doing when I was 10, 12, 15 years old, just like a lot of you guys. So here's the deal. Fast forward 10 years to today, and here we are with a more established lawn and landscape business. Now, I've started to evaluate adding landscaping to our offerings because quite honestly, I probably left about $250,000 on the table the last several years by not offering landscaping to my clients. And some of you guys are like, how is that even a number? Well, here's the deal. If you take my spring cleanups, my aerations, the mulch work we've done on the end of the season, all our fall cleanups, our overseeding, our aerations, all that work together, let's just say it's $25,000 a year. It could be more, it could be less. But if you do that times 10 years, that's an extra quarter million dollars, not counting snow removal, which in all honesty, you take that same number Number, times it by 10 years, it could be an extra 150,000 plus plus dollars. So I've probably left three, four, five hundred thousand dollars on the table by not offering landscaping. You know, it begs the argument that when you cut grass all day long, sort of like myself, and you have to cut 40 lawns in a day to do uh, some decent revenue, well, you could always do one landscaping job in a day and quite honestly, make the same amount of money. In fact, I was hanging with my friend Brandon earlier and he had just got done doing a landscape job. I wanna show you that one really quick. So here's the job Brandon and I are talking about, for example. So why don't you do a walk around, show them what we got. Okay, so what we did here is, um, all right, first of all, this was completely covered in weeds. So it was a total nightmare, total jungle. So what we did was we pulled out all the weeds and then we trimmed up the shrubs here a little bit and then we just put in this brownwood mulch. Sure. And other than that, that's about it. So this is the kind of an example of a job where maybe it's about $1,000, let's just say. Sure, yep. And these are the kind of jobs where you can do three or four of these in a, in a week, no problem, but you were making a good point was you might not be making as much money necessarily. Right, well that's the thing too, is everybody's like, oh, this guy's out doing a thousand dollar landscape install, he did it in five hours or whatever, you know, but people don't factor in like, hey, you know, let's use this for an example, let's say it was a thousand dollar job and you know, we bring in five yards of mulch, you factor that's like 150 bucks material. So this might be more of a profitable job because you have weeds and that's just labor, you know? Well, that's the thing you can do, we were talking about earlier, you can do 40 lawn care jobs, you know, 40 lawn maintenance jobs in a day, and you might have a thousand dollars gross. You can do a landscape job like this, mm -hmm. it's a thousand dollars gross, but I might make more on grass, you might make more depending on the landscape job. Sure, exactly. But at the same point, it kind of begs the question that would you rather mow 150 lawns in a mm -hmm. week or do three, four, five, decent little landscape jobs and make right. the same amount of money. You know, one good talking point about lawn maintenance is the fact that it's pretty much 26 weeks straight. Now, again, if you have some of the lawns out there that are more rural, and yes, they're gonna dry out, you're gonna lose some weeks in July and August, but quite honestly, you're gonna be cutting grass pretty much the whole season through. Up here in Michigan where I'm at, it's 26 weeks straight. Now, a lot of guys, they clean up with landscaping that first eight, 10, 12 weeks, usually until about July 4th, right? But then it kind of tapers off. For me personally, I always figured lawn maintenance was pay the bill money and consistent income. Landscaping, big ticket items, but you know what? It's one and done, right? Now, again, for most people, you're gonna maintain it every few years, but to me, it was a bunch of little incomes or a bunch of landscape big jobs, big incomes. I'm not saying either one is right or wrong, it's just you gotta figure out what works best for you and what you're trying to accomplish. You know, one comment that always comes back to me time and time again, and a lot of you guys always ask this, is what is the most ideal setup for a lawn care landscaping business? Do you, uh, you wanna mow five days a week cutting grass? Do you wanna mow three days a week and then do two days with landscaping or vice versa? I know some guys that do landscaping Monday through Thursday, and all they do is cut grass on Friday, Saturday, or vice versa 
vice versa, Monday, Tuesday, and they landscape the rest of the week. So I am curious to know your guys' ideal setup and for your lawn and landscape business. Leave me a comment down below. How do you guys feel that you tackle your business? Now, I think where I'm transitioning to is having a mowing schedule four days a week and maybe adding a landscaping crew. All it would actually take is uh, an extra truck, maybe an extra employee or two. Uh, but not only that, we could always do landscaping Thursday, Friday, Saturday if I wanted to get rid of all my Thursday route. But those are all kind of things that I'm trying to figure out right now. And you know, quite honestly, lawn maintenance is fun. You make uh, some decent money doing that. But it's always one of those uh, things that I've come to realize is that I can make more doing landscaping per day than I do cutting grass per day with a lot less overhead, a lot less stress, and a lot less running around. And quite honestly, for a lot of you guys, a lot less customers. You know, the more I think about this video, the more I'm realizing I probably left a little bit more than about a half a million dollars probably on the table over the last few years, right? Now, here's my question for you guys. What's an ideal business model for you guys? More landscaping, more lawn care, a hybrid of both, or you know what, having two crews. That's my question of the day for you guys. I wanna know your thoughts. Leave me a comment down below and we'll catch up with you guys on the next video.